Hey guys, I'm Brandon and I'm here with Zach from Aldeck and today we're going to be showing you how Aldeck's own Tyson development board can be used as the gateway for all your interconnected devices in our Internet of Things demo. To start off, let me explain a little bit about Internet of Things, or IoT. It's the idea of providing network connectivity to everyday objects. Sensors, cameras, alarms, and many other devices can all benefit by working together in a single interconnected network. With such a variety of devices, however, it's necessary for some gateway to exist in the network that can handle all the device connectivity, different protocols, as well as data processing. For this reason, FPGA usage has been increasing in the world of IoT. Due to its reprogrammability, FPGA provides a significant advantage in adapting to the changing complexity of these networks. So if you're looking for that flexibility in the gateway of your own IoT application, then you should consider Tyson and today's IoT demo as a starting point in your own design. Before getting to the demonstration though, let's take a look at our setup and see what we've got going on. So here's the setup with the Tyson at the center. It'll be acting as the gateway for this IoT. As the gateway, it'll be communicating with a number of peripherals, such as these two Bluetooth sensors. Each sensor here measures temperature and humidity, and this information will be received by the TISUM. We also have a Z-Wave sensor here, which can detect illuminance and temperature as well. Through USB, we'll use a mouse and keyboard interface with the TISUM, as well as a USB switch, which will allow the TISUM to control these two lights right here. Finally, the TISUM is also utilizing Wi-Fi through its mini PCIe slot at the bottom of the board. Using Wi-Fi, the board will be able to communicate with our mobile app to relay sensor information as well as those control signals for the USB lights. So with that setup out of the way, let's move on to the actual demo. So here we actually have the demo running for you and we pulled up the web page that's being hosted by the Tyson that you can view all of the live data being streamed from your sensors. So at the top of the page, it says Aldec Tyson IoT Gateway. And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll be able to see the data that's being read off of our Bluetooth sensors and our Z-Wave sensors. So I've actually been holding sensor 2 from the Bluetooth sensors for a while now, and you can see that it has a little bit of an elevated temperature, and that it indicates that there's been movement. That's just because I've been holding it in my hand, moving it around a little bit, warming it up, just to show you the little bit of difference in the sensors. Looking at the other sensors, we can see sensor 1 is indicating a temperature of 72 degrees, or about room temperature and that it is currently experiencing no movement. And that's just because or sensor one is stationary on the table here in the room. Looking at the Z-Wave sensor, we can see that it also reads temperature and this additional value of illuminance. If I go ahead and cover the Z-Wave sensor with my hand down here, we can see that the illuminance drops down to zero. And that's just because I'm blocking all the light. Removing my hand, we can see that the Z-Wave sensor updates for uh, back to its original value of 1,000. Another component of our IoT demo is that we actually have these two light switches that are controlled via USB switches, which you can control either via the web page here, or you can control via the app that we created for this IoT demo. So the app has a very similar interface as what's shown right here. It's got two switches to control two lights. If I click one switch, I can turn on one light, and if I click the other, it turns on the other. And I can control both of these lights independently. Turning both lights on, uh, we can see that the status of each light is reflected on the television behind me. Another major concern in the IoT industry is security and transmission of data. One of the things we've done with the Tyson is we've actually implemented an encryption module that will help tr uh, securely transmit that data to our app. Right. So information is being sent from the sensor to the Tyson, and the Tyson is sending that information to the application. To keep that information secure between the Tyson and the application, we're actually implementing an AES module. This AES module is implemented on the FPGA of the Zinc SOC of the Tyson board. One of the uh, advantages of implementing that uh, algorithm on the FPGA fabric is that it's actually hardware accelerated, which allows it to offload from the processor, giving the processor more cycles to do whatever it needs to do. You can also hardware, hardware accelerate data pre-processing, embedded computer vision, things like that. And that's because of the reprogram reprogrammability of the FPGA. Reprogrammability means that this uh, Tyson is not limited to just an AES module. You can put uh, whatever you want on it, such as other uh, encryption modules or controllers or really any custom module that you'd like. Uh, that's actually it for our IoT demo. Thanks for watching.